the first pass rank choice votes are out with respect to the Oakland Mayor's race and I posted them at Zenny62 on Twitter and I'm about to post an update that includes this video. So let's go through the pass. We we started out in this is the first pass. This is not final. I, I will stress this. This is not official, okay? These numbers are not official until the Registrar of Voters, Tim Dupuis, signs off on them. Now, uh, we go through these, and we start with this spread where you can see that Libby Schaff is at 29% here, okay? And... There were no write-ins, so then pass number one was primarily reflecting the first choice votes. Now this is pass number two, and here we begin to see things slightly change where Rebecca Kaplan picked up votes. Libby was still holding at 29%. Joe Tuma is at 12.38 still. Then we start looking at the, the transfers, okay? Now, for example, if we look at Saeed Kamaru's, the majority of his transfers were to Dan Siegel, Jason Anderson, and Jean Kwan, and Libby Schaff. So, when we have a pickup here, we still don't see any movement. But as we go down through the results and these passes, it gives you a listing of who transferred to what Nancy Sidebottom, for example. Then we find that Saeed and Nancy were eliminated past two and three respectively. The writing was eliminated past one, which means Sam Washington got no write-in mention at all. Then Pat McCullough was eliminated in past four. And you see, I'll be in, still no any movement. Right? Then Eric Wilson was eliminated in pass five. I, don't, I wonder if he actually exists as a candidate again. Charles Williams got most of his. Well, Dan Seal and then Charles Williams. And Rebecca Kaplan. And then we have Peter Liu and Gene Kwan got most of his votes. So then we have now seven, six eliminated. Ken Houston gave most of his to Rebecca Kaplan, interestingly, here. See that? Followed by Brian Parker and then Joe Tuman and then Dan Siegel evenly. So we have seven eliminated. Charles Williams gave most of his votes by a whopping amount to Dan Siegel and then Rebecca Kaplan. It's interesting. And so we, as we look at this then, we still don't see any movement here, okay? Slight movement for Libby here. Gene is second close here. Joe Tuman at 12.76%, right? Dan at 12.70. But 
the lesser candidates, the bottom eight, as we can see, is beginning to eliminate itself. But in so doing, they're not really changing the overall position of the candidates here. And it's not until we get to There's Jason Anderson. Jason Anderson, the Green Party candidate, gave the vast majority of his votes to Dan Siegel. Look at that, 506 votes. It's overwhelming. So now we've got all the bottom eight eliminated. Courtney Ruby, let's see if the teamwork worked. Transferred 173 to Brian Parker, but look, 515 she gave to Libby. Even with all that, 515, then Joe. Brian got Brian really didn't benefit from teaming up with Libby at all. You know, much at all. He still didn't come out well. Joe came out better. But I bet probably would have remained that had they not teamed up because of the lateness and when they did. Okay. And now we begin to see some change in movement. There's Libby at 30%. So Libby's lead is starting to, she's starting to pull ahead. Watch this, folks. And we start eliminating Brian Parker was next. He gave 1,000 votes. Look at that. For all the team work, 1,000 went to Libby. 1,000, followed by Joe Tuman, followed by Gene, followed by Dan. Brian gave no votes to Courtney Ruby at all. None. See that? Look at that in the transfer. Look at that. None. So now we begin to see significant movement. Next, Dan Siegel. Dan gave his majority to Rebecca. Next, Libby. So in this, Libby becomes the constant. Okay. And so you can actually go through these documents on this video, but I'm going to scroll through and show you the outcome. This is not final. And this is just the first pass. It's going to be consistently updated. But look, Libby Schaff, 62.79%. See that? Rebecca, a distant second. There. When Jean Quan was eliminated, she transferred her hers to 20 to Rebecca, and then first, and then Libby. And that's it. This lead is so huge that I'm going to go ahead and call it for Libby. Congratulations, Libby. You're in Oakland's next mayor. Mayor-elect Libby Schaff has a nice ring to it.